This time I got an Insignia Blu-ray player. This one won't load the disc. Uh, if you guys saw this on the live stream earlier, you, you saw part of it. Um, I've extended a bit more and shown a few more things and we're going to cut it down right down to what you guys need to uh, do to fix these ones. There's the remote control for it. It turns on. But of course, it's probably not going to open because I think the belt is probably shot. Maybe get this one working. And we'll see whether it will play the little DVDs or the little ABC HD discs that came out of my little camera. So here's the board. I haven't seen the inside of one of these, so this is the first time I've been into this. Got a power supply over here, and we've got the the optical drive over there. This is obviously the wireless card sticking out the back, and we've got the uh, the main video processor with an actual half decent size heatsink on here. I will say. Let's um, see if we can get this drive to open. The uh, eject button on here, and it doesn't want to release. There we go. There is the belt right there. I'll just unplug it. So it's going to be a relatively simple fix. This is our optical pickup. I could probably cut this piece off. We don't need to have that shield. We want to see lasers. We want to see lasers shining. So we'll cut that or remove it. I'll cut it. Well, let's find another belt. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller. Okay, I got another belt that's a little smaller. I'll try it now. Power it up. See if it works. I would imagine that the, the, the player probably works. I'm going to remove this just so that we can see the lasers in action. Once I confirm that it opens, power on. There we go. Okay. Eject. Where's the button on here? It's a, it's a touch control. There we go. That works. And close sesame. Okay, that looks like that part works. So let's um let's remove the the disc clamp. And uh, we'll remove that safety barrier because we're going to ignore all safety regulations with regards to laser beams. We want to see laser beams. And you'll notice that this has a dual pickup because it's a Blu-ray. It's going to have one blue laser and one red laser. So I'm just going to cut this off with some the plastic's actually pretty tough <laughs> it's a lot tougher than I thought we're gonna break that off just like that because we want the big prize we want to see this thing shining maybe burn the camera out I don't think it'll do that but it should be pretty bright we should be able to see the blue laser as well and when I put a disc in we should actually be able to see the laser shining through the disc but first things first, let's see what it does when I fire it up. This should actually have three pickups in it. It should have an infrared pickup for CD and CDR. It should have a red laser for DVD and a blue laser for the Blu-ray. So let's just open and close the disc housing and see what it does. The blue laser should come on first. There's the blue laser. See? Jeez, the, you know, the red laser is much brighter on camera. Uh, when I'm looking at it, the blue laser is a, a nice deep violet. I'm not uh, I'm not looking right down the beam, but I'm looking at the at the actual lens itself, and you can see the two lasers flashing away there. Okay, let's uh, let's try playing a disc on this thing. I'm thinking, let's try playing the uh, ABC HD disc. I have. A little mini disc here that's recorded in high definition that should play on this player.
it tells me it's an ABC HD disc and if I push play it should go there we go and it should be playing back momentarily it's figuring out this disc by the way has not been finalized so it's uh, playing the disc and it's playing it in HD of course I'm just watching it on a, a standard definition monitor here but it is playing the disc I recorded on the camera and as you can see it looks okay we're only seeing it in 480 lines obviously it was recorded in 1080 but um, this TV is only 480 if I were to play this out using the HDMI or using the component outputs we would see a picture that was full HD off this player playing this disc and that was one of the, the nice strengths to that little camera was you could record a disc directly and pop it into your Blu-ray player and it would play even a, a, a cheap no-name brand like Insignia it plays. I do have a real Blu-ray disc I don't know that we're going to actually see the laser shining through this at all. A stamp disc we might, but I don't think we'll see it on this. But let's just pop a Blu-ray disc in. And see how a Blu-ray disc plays. So there's the ABC HD disc removed. It's just some stuff I downloaded off YouTube, so I don't want to show it because it will, uh, I'm sure, pull a match somewhere along the line. And same with this one. If I let it play, it will pull a match, I'm sure. So we'll just skip to the next one. But we don't see any blue light at all. I like with the DVD player where you can actually see the red light from the... Uh, the laser. The Blu-ray is uh, m almost ultraviolet for one, so it's not—it's a—it's a violet color, but it's also uh, much weaker. Uh, the red spot is much much brighter. Now that might be just because of um, just because the ultraviolet wavelength is more or less out of the visible spectrum. Anyway. It's playing the disc. Okay, so a movie. You can see the blue right there from the laser. And of course, the camera's out of focus, but there is the blue laser right there. Whatever happens if I block it. So this is something pretty small. What happens if I block the beam? It stops it from playing. Obviously. Ooh! I made it angry. You can see, can you see the lens trying to focus there when I blocked the beam, the lens started going up and down. Watch, watch the lens. <laughs> I made it, I, I made it angry. <laughs> I made it angry with me. Watch the lens. Some people hate optical media. I love it. Just it's so complex. Laser reading all that information. It's so cool. Just the way these things work. The block the beam and I make it angry. I'll lose my screwdriver in there if I'm not careful. Anyway, that's the laser. Looks like that's the laser diode right there. It's shining in through some mirrors and reflecting. I think that's that looks like the diode and not the detector. The detector is over here. If we open this up, um, get a closer look at that because we know that that's playing. This looks to be the laser for, well that's definitely the blue laser right here and the, the, the pickup is probably this one over here because I would imagine that the, the laser shines, something to point with, 
So the laser shines out this spudgers hand damaged. Laser shines out here. Down this way, hits a mirror, which reflects the light down through the light tunnel, where it's onto another mirror which is reflected up through that lens. And on, on the way back down, it's reflected back down and it passes straight through. It's like a, it would be a semi-transparent mirror right across here. And it passes straight through and then ends up in the pickup. You can see that the pickup here is directly in line, right, with the lens. And on this one here, there'd be a mirror right in the back here, which would reflect the light from the laser into that lens. The other laser for CD and um, DVD would be, I think it's over on this side, or is it, where is it? It's in there somewhere. The red laser, anyway. Anyway, it's got a, it'll also have an infrared laser, I'm sure. It has to, because otherwise it's not going to read CDR. And they would be both through this larger lens on the back. But uh, they look to be on this side. Anyway, that's this little, there's a couple of little strong magnets right there for focusing and for tracking. Anyway, uh, I guess that's about all I can show you on this thing. It's uh, It works, I just needed a new belt. Something I didn't uh, touch on this when I was doing the live stream, I'll put, the, put it into the uh, the edited version because I'm going to cut this down obviously a lot. Um, this has a USB capability as well so you can pop a USB stick in and it will play videos directly off of USB. So we plug in the USB stick and it should come up on media on the TV. So if I scroll down to media, USB videos And I should have some videos on here. And this will play them right off of the USB stick. Which was a nice touch because it could play high definition MP4s. So if you download movies and stuff off of uh, the internet or anything you've got in MP4, this can play it. You don't have to burn it to disc. That was a, a nice feature of this Blu-ray player, and that's basically what I use the one, I've got one in, in, in the house in my studio with this remote, and that's basically what I use this for, is uh, content that I've put onto USB stick for testing and stuff, because I don't have a smart TV. I use this for checking content, and it'll play MP3s and the whole bit. So if I pop an MP3 disc in here, it will play it. The other thing you could do is if you had a Blu-ray disc, you could load MP4s. This is a BDRE, rewritable disc. I've burned a few of these and uh, a couple of, of write once discs. But the BDRE are kind of nice. You can store 25 gigs of data on a single disc and then they can play in a Blu-ray player. Most of them anyway. This one certainly can. If I select media, it will Give me the list of all the movies that are on here. Under media it shows optical disc. Now this is not a Blu-ray disc. This is just MP4s burned. So for example I have Skyfall on here. Just a standard MP4. Probably all I can show you. I've got some, this is a this is a DVD rip, this one, but I've got some uh, Blu-ray rips in here as well. This is an AVI file. It should play AVI files just as well as MP4s, which it does. Makes it quite a versatile little player, especially when you can get these things for like next to nothing. Because it's uh, not a name brand but it does everything and it does everything really well. Of course the beauty of a, a unit like this is that it has on the back you've got optical output, coaxial output, you've got component output, and standard audio video output and of course HDMI. So you can put this on any TV. 
new, old, it doesn't care. Everything works on this player. And it, it completely ignores regions too, even though it's supposed to. The one I've got ignores regions because you could just punch a code in on the remote and make it region free. So great little players to say, I picked mine up for a song, this one was given to me, new belt, it's like new. Now I gotta find, I think I got the other remote for it too, so this is the one from the one in the house, but I'm pretty sure I got, I got a remote for this one, kicking around here. Anyway, that's it for this one, thanks for watching. If you guys saw the live one, thanks for watching that one. This is the shortened down version of the uh, procedure, take out a lot of the chatter that I was doing on the other one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.